Welcome guys to another episode in the deep playthrough of Grand Turismo Sports. We'll be doing commentary after beating this near impossible race to get gold at least. It's quite hard.
Come on, little Honda. Finally, I'm having some outlook on the win. Woohoo! First place, suckers. This one. Woohoo! Was not expecting that. This one really took me like 10 attempts. At one point I was like, is it even possible in this... Um, we have like three types of cars. And I have the oldest one from 91 or something. Um, but it is possible, apparently. Very nice. Because the other ones were like uh, newer models from 2015 and stuff. From 2002 and 2015 and I'm from 91. Um, but I do think they're all the same N100 class. I'm not really sure. They all have like 60 horsepower. But the first place car really was like in all my attempts. Um, so much ahead that it almost seemed impossible to catch up with him but of course if you get to him as soon as possible then there is some rubber banding I think he does slow down a bit and once I got to him I noticed that actually the first place car was also one of those older models so it's not like it was a more modern car that was way quicker Let's check it out. But it was fun. Because finally there was some, uh, some challenge in this uh, career mode. Because <laughs> it it's a pretty cool combination. Like this car and the track with flowing high speed corners. And the car being very prone to oversteering. Or having the tail end slide out. Like there. I thought over here I should actually start over, it would not be possible to make it anymore. But try to uh, continue anyways. If I wouldn't have bumped into this red car over here, I would now already have carried way more speed and would probably be near that black car in front. But I lost all my speed by bumping into the car in front. It's a pretty cool track, Goodwood. Although I must say, it almost seems to be it's waiting for some kind of fatality to happen there with all the grass runoff. It's not like grass is really slowing you down or anything. So, and also with the yearly classical car races over there, it's only a matter of time before one really hits the dirt hard. Or the wall hard, I would imagine. But I'm not saying that there should be any um, limitations or anything. It's actually part of motor racing, is the risk. Probably a lot of people will uh, play, uh, 
ask for like prohibition of the Goodwood uh, revival and stuff. I'm not one of those. I'm just saying there does seem to be quite some more risk in this track than in modern day tracks. Right, where am I now? Yes, that's the first place car. And now somehow I do am able to uh, get closer. Well, that was not really possible in the first two laps. He's driving the exact same car, so I was not expecting that. I was expecting him to drive a more modern uh, lightweight car. Anyways, here we go. Let's wait for the overtaking maneuver. Back straight, straight before start finish. Quite slow, but it was enough. Woohoo! Right, let's finish this lightweight cup. I think one more race to go in Sardinia. Four laps. Here we go. Let's look at the layout. 190 degree corner, now two 90 degree corners and one U-turn. Let's keep that in mind. For the rest it's all flowing and a straight. Holy shit, check out how far car number one is ahead. Hopefully this won't be the same as in Goodwood taking like 10 tries of course I can tune the car but that feels a bit like cheating in my book somehow right then this will probably be another 90 degree along nice 
man, I could take way more speed into that corner. Alright, so this is all a bit flowing, I guess. And then we are hitting... The U-turn. First place car way in front. This is a corner that really can make you or break you because you can carry a lot of speed into it but you should not lift off because then yeah the car starts sliding really if, if I have that corner down I think it's pretty doable Here it comes. Not optimal at all. At least we're through. up that corner hopefully I can catch up and do some slip streaming all right I think I am not as far in front as in the previous attempt at this point in the race but let's try Keep at it anyways. Alright, and now don't screw up this corner. back end not sliding out with all these cambers and elevation changes I should also make better use of the width of the track I don't need to slow down that much in a u-turn because you have like super wide track that you can use to keep part of your speed
Alright, at least one and two are inside. And I think after this one still a lap, so it looks pretty good. Here we go. It's a pretty fun track, I must say. Again, also in combination with this car, which is so tail happy. And let's try not to lose too much speed over here. Because as mentioned, it's quite wide. And I'm not sure whether this is the before last corner or lap or the last one. But let's just continue driving like our life depends on it. important corners I guess of the track the last lap let's watch one lap of replay just for the fun of it and the event after this one is I think the Volkswagen Samba bus so I'm pretty curious how that will be I like this track a lot. Turismo e in my book. Like a cool original circuit, not real life but fictional but still a very cool circuit. Cool Japanese cars. Oh, getting a time. Guys, ending the episode here. Um, hope you liked. If you did, please leave a like or a share or maybe even a subscribe. Uh, hope to see you in the next one where we'll be doing the Samba Bus event. Um, for the meantime, 
Do not forget to always do. Keep on gaming. See you later.